Oh, hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at video switcher and eyedropper and color tracking and motion tracking. So here is a video switcher and eyedropper and color tracking and motion tracking. Uh, let's start with uh, take a look video switcher and I made uh, two types of video switcher and in here as you can see I made five uh, video input at here and here is constant so this is uh, which uh, video will you uh, use so zero is first video and if I insert two value at here and then the third uh, video will be on like this so it works uh, by this uh, constant uh, value and I send this value to fan and in here as you can see five channels at here so because uh, this channel is start 1 to 5 so if we type 10 uh, at here and now there is uh, 10 channels like this but we have a total 5 videos so I'm going to set this value to 1 to 5 and, and then uh, yeah this fan is working like this and then I made filter at here so this filter is changing this uh, fan's value to smoother and these uh, filters uh, channels total uh, added value is always 1 it means it will be not over uh, the 1 so and I reference this channel's value to level's opacity like this and then I made composite to add these uh, top images yeah so if I change this uh, value and then it will be changed slowly yeah and here uh, this video switcher is uh, controlled by this button like this and this button is same with this compass uh, button and I set this button type to radio up and then uh, if I uh, press uh, this button and another or button will be turned off like this so always only one button can be uh, on mode on mode pressed yeah so I merge this whole button's value to here and I used the uh, same this filter and add this top image at composite this technique at here so it's same and this part and this part is only uh, different with this uh, pressing button or changing constant value yeah and this is eyedropper and it can be select uh, the color of your screen so if I select this and now we can get this color yeah what is YouTube color oh it's just really red I thought it's different with just only red anyway <laughs> so it starts with screen grabber and this screen grabber can uh, grab your screen and then I made container at here and I made a 
the 2D slider widget. So it's in UI, basic widget, and core. And there is master slide 2D. Yeah, it's same with this, uh, this widget. So, and then uh, as you can see, I set this uh, size with my screen and it can uh, this uh, slider is a uh, range of this value is 0 to 1 like this and I uh, use this value to mask to like this and then I set this values to transform to if I press here and this uh, position will be going to center yeah and then I made a fit with resolution 1 and 1 and native resolution to get the center of color and I use um, a logic to detect when I pressing mouse button and if I release this slider and this cache uh, and this cache is not activated so it can hold uh, the last uh, mouse pressing color yeah and then I sent this uh, top image to top 2 to get uh, correct RGB value like this so this is how I grab uh, the color of screen screen color eyedropper yeah not to color and this is color tracking and as you can see this tracking line is follow red color and if I change this uh, color to green now if tracking green color like this so this uh, technique is I referenced uh, Wei Ching Chang's tutorial video, a motion tracking tutorial video, yeah. And I used another technique at here. And this technique is uh, I learned from some touch designer website and someone who someone has uploaded some file but I couldn't find who was uploaded so please let me know if you know who was uh, used this technique yeah so as you can see there is three uh, circle is floating around by this noise and then I made a constant color at here and I changed this color to values with top two and I made a top constant and I set this name to color uh, range and I add this color range value to here so now it becomes like this and I subtract this uh, value to here so it becomes like this and I added this uh, added value and subtracted value to RGB key so I adapted this uh, added value to max and I added this value to minimum so if I increase this color range and as you can see it can uh, get uh, um, another color like this and so this part is very interesting part and as you can see there is green uh, ramp and blue ramp and this green ramp it means uh, x position so it starts uh, 0 to 1 and this blue is uh, start 0 to 1 as a vertical and this horizon and add this green and blue at like this now it becomes like this and okay let's think about this point this point is blue value is 0 and green value is 0 so here is 0 and 0 it means x y position is 0 
and this uh, value is green one and blue one so xy position is one and one so if I and this point will be green value 1 and blue point 0 0.5 so 1 and 0 0.5 position so if how it uh, so that's why this green and blue ramp at here and this reorder is get this uh, red like this and this red is become like this so and next analyze by this red and it get maximum pixel of red so red is here and this red color is like this and this color have a green and blue also so uh, if we change this uh, color to top I, know, I mean top and we can get green and blue value as a x and y so that's how we can get uh, x and y position by this color and i used a hold to if this value become a zero zero i mean if it's going to outside of screen this hold remember the last uh, value yeah okay and I use the leg to smooth these values and then adapt these values uh, to like this and this technique is weight towns tutorial video yeah so that's how we can uh, color tracking and this is motion tracking and this technique is almost coming from Wei Cheng Tang's uh, video and he used cache at here and this cache is minus one uh, frame so it's different with now and this is uh, past and this is present so soft uh, and get different with this present and past so we can get this image like this and I change this image to like this with monochrome and threshold and this technique is same as like this color tracking yeah everything is same and that's how we can do motion tracking so uh, I think the blob track is quite heavy and a little bit uh, mm, mm, this technique is I think is more accurate and interesting yes so you can download this uh, project file with free uh, because almost uh, this technique is not my original technique I hope this uh, project file can be helped to your work hmm. In my previous video, I asked you to share your work based on my light trail tutorial video and thankfully you guys sent me videos I'm really happy to see your work. Then let's take a look. So first, Brian Smith sent me a video with great sound. And he sent me a project file. And he used a switch to select various video. An interesting point is he used that table to change level automatically. Yeonsan Kim used straight of London video with web browser and this London light trail is different feeling with my work.
a k i b a n music used the l e f i s to make this picture. And I love he using edge at here. And also love to watching this j e l l y f i s h movement. BMC Tier 10 used a uh, unique video source and his video frame rate is very low. Um, but I think this point make it feel something unique. It remind me uh, Takahashi Ito's video work. So thank you guys for sharing your great words. I think this show me your work corner is quite fun. Mm-hmm. And thank you for watching this video. And today there is no exclusive project file, but if you pay to run for me, uh, you can download another exclusive project file. And I'll come back with a better video in next time. Okay, bye.